morning guys got out here this morning i'm taking a little time it's a little early for this but dug out some traps they've been stored i hadn't trapped been working too much hadn't trapped in a, about two maybe two three years i'm not exactly sure but i dug out my traps you see me die some but these conner bear traps i'm not gonna die i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna paint them so i've done done a couple but what i was gonna do is just you can see this surface rust is all on here and some of these are pretty bad but i mean they're not horrible oh uh, these are fairly new traps they haven't really been used much and uh so what i'm doing is taking a wire brush and i'm just trying to smooth them out i'm not getting every spot uh, I'm not gonna try to just get them spotless and rust. I can soak them in vinegar. I did some of other traps that worked really well. Uh, but just for the sake of time, I'm doing like three, four traps at a time, just here, there, when I get a little spare time so that I can hang them up and it's late July. Uh, so it's a little early for doing this, but I wanted to hang them up under here and let the paint and all the vapors and smells get off of them before I use them. Uh, kind of what brought this on to start, I, I run across some of my traps that were in pretty rough shape. And, uh, but I've got some predators getting around my chicken, so I've got a fox I'm trying to catch and a couple of coons. Of course, I've caught several possums. The possum is fairly easy to catch. Ain't, nothing's just easy to catch. But for an experienced trapper, it ain't it ain't too hard to catch a possum out here. You can put a little dog food or something in any kind of trap. And I've been doing most of it with live traps, and I try not to use very many foot traps. All of these ton of bears right here around the yard, so I'm probably fixing to invest in some dog proof for this. But what I'm doing is I'm I'm trying to catch this fox a little further out from my property. I'm, I've been watching. I figured out where he's staying. He's actually across the road from my property here. So, uh, but anyway, you open this up a little bit like this, and I'm just taking my time. I ain't in no big hurry. Uh, just brushing across this. The main thing I want to make sure I get good is where this, where the wire and all, where this stuff parts move. I don't want that hanging up. Uh, and you can see this trap is locked. I pulled it out of the box that way, so I just left it alone. I've I've heard most people say that what weakens a spring is the constant movement. So if it's locked, I leave it locked. If it's open, I leave it open. Uh, but I'm gonna get right in here pretty good in between where these, uh, where it hinges. Make sure I, what I've done is I got some, uh, now the way I'm painting these, and I wish that spring was, see if I can get it. I want my chain out of that hook. Now what I've been doing, if I needed to move something, I've been trying to hang it on that bolt so that uh, it keeps it from slipping. The reason I'm getting that chain out of the way is... There we go. And so when I hold it up, it, it's out of my way of painting this. So what I'm doing, I got some OD green, and uh, I'm not trying to get it perfect. I just want a good coat. And basically what I'm painting them, the reason I'm painting them, I don't have a problem with the rust color. Oh. Uh, something come up on my screen. I don't know if it interfered with the video or not, but anyway, I'm just kind of running over this. If it ain't perfect, I'm basically coating it to keep the rust from going on it. I don't have a problem with the, with the rust color. In fact, I like the rust color, but it just keeps rusting and getting worse, and I'm I'm doing this more or less to preserve my trout. You see, I got my tag hanging on there like that. I'm probably gonna do my tags different. I'm gonna redo them all this year. I'm probably gonna roll them around one of the springs or somewhere up in this chain. 
And uh, instead of having them twisted on with a piece of wire, because that wire is a weak point, that tie wire, over a period of time, it's the weak spot of all right, after I get that pretty good, I'm taking and turning it the other way, making sure I get that direction too. And I'm about out of paint. I done done about three of these, so anyway. Now I'm gonna hang it up and let it hang till a couple of months, just for the sake of hanging it up, letting it smells get off, which I figured the smell probably be off enough day or so really but anyway thank you guys like my video if you like the stuff we're doing like comment on it appreciate your video your views